You're watching the Financial News Network. Here's what's in the news for Thursday, June 21st, 2012. The Wall Street Journal reports a bipartisan group of lawmakers called on regulators to overhaul the way IPOs are conducted. Concerned that last month's stock sale by Facebook shows the current system unfairly hurts small investors. The Wall Street Journal also reports the quality of new cars for Ford and Chrysler Group's Chrysler brand fell in the J.D. Power & Associates' initial quality survey. GM improved as three of its four brands had fewer problems than the average reported by new vehicle owners. Bloomberg reports German Chancellor Angela Merkel balked at committing a direct sovereign debt purchases through the Euro Area Bailout Fund, pushing back against calls by the bloc's leaders who support the measure as a way to ease the crisis. While legally possible, it's not up for debate at present, Merkel said. Reuters reports KKR and company put Australia's biz industries with coal mining, steel and iron ore operations up for sale. A business valued at about $1.8 billion, including debt, sources say. Finally, Reuters also reports J.P. Morgan amended its offer to shareholders of troubled Technicolor, raising its price to a euro 90 per share from a euro 60 for the reserved capital increase that could see it buy a stake of up to 30 percent in the company and topping a rival bid from Vector Capital. For further updates on these stories and more, keep it right here to the Financial News Network, your source for the latest business news.